Welcome back. Our first tech case of the day is one that I encounter regularly, and I'm sure many of you do as well. People want to know, why is my computer so slow? And, more importantly, besides buying a new one, what can I do to solve this problem? Here with a few potential solutions is one of our tech experts, Romaine. Hey Romaine, how's it going? I'm good, Catherine. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, but you know, like I'm saying, I have this slow laptop at home. I don't want to part with it. I've had it for a long time. It's got a lot of pictures, a lot of my music, a lot of my stuff on it in general. And I'm also a little lazy and don't really want to have to get a new computer. So well, you know what? That's that's fine. It's a problem that a lot of people actually have. So don't feel alone on this one. Good, good. Um, now the problem with this, it could be a lot of different things, but the main thing is a lack of maintenance. Right. Um, so for a lot of reasons, people will you know use particular items, like say for example their car. A lot right. of people drive and just oblivious to what's actually going on behind the scenes. Yes. Um, so occasionally, you know, you have to you know change your oil, change the brakes, you know, lubricate a few things. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure everything's running the way that it's supposed to. Okay. Now, same thing with the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do regular maintenance on it so that it runs the way that it's supposed to. Right. Now, there are, are other things that can occur um, that will definitely slow down your computer. But if you definitely maintain it, um, then you know certainly it'll, it'll increase the speed a lot. So say that I clearly have not been maintaining it to the extent that I'm supposed to do. What now? Please tell me there's something I could do to speed things up a little bit. All right, perfect. Well, you know, it depends on the actual problem. Um, like I was saying before, it could be maybe, you know, fragmented data. Maybe you have too many programs on your computer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe the, the operating system is corrupt. Um, but before I get into all that, uh, you do have, do you have a PC or a Mac? I have a PC. Okay. Perfect. So a lot of the, uh, the suggestions I'm going to make to you are for PC. Uh, now with the, the Mac operating system, it does run off of a, a Linux type system. That's a little bit advanced. I won't get into bit, that too uh, detailed, yep. but it runs differently from a PC. So the problems, the solutions I'm going to give you are specifically for your computer. Sounds great. All right? So some of the things you can do, um, or one of the things you can do is actually clean your registry. Clean my registry. That's, yes. This is like Greek to me. What does this mean? Okay. Now the registry um, acts as a safe in your okay. computer. Um, okay. This is where all the important things are kept. Um, for example, you seem like a, a fashionista. Definitely, I right? like to think okay. so. So your favorite pair of shoes, I wouldn't imagine you just, you know, throw it under your bed or throw it in the basement, keep it in the garage, Definitely things like that, right? Definitely not. Definitely You're going to keep not. it in the closet, in a nice box, right? Exactly. All right, perfect. So that's the same thing you want to do uh, in, in computers. Like, you want to make sure all the important files are where they're supposed to be. Now, the registry keeps all of the files that is necessary Okay. And I repeat, necessary okay. for your computer to operate properly. Okay. Okay. Now everything else on your computer is things that we kind of create. Right. right. So you know programs and pictures. music and pictures and everything like that. Okay. So the registry can get pretty messy. Now, so to give you an example, okay. Um, because we're keeping important things in our safe, like my thing that I have is my wallet. I keep like important things right. in my wallet. And okay. sometimes I just pull it out here. Good stuff. Sometimes. Like it gets messy. Like gets I have a like a cluttered. whole bunch of stuff in here. Like, right. like just like this is unnecessary. Like band aid. Yeah, like random. this is, you know, I got stuff like this. Like it's it's pretty crazy. Like I got that. Like it just gets all over Wait the place a sec. here. And Wait just, a sec, Romaine. What? Why do you have ten percent off next purchase of Super Itch Cream? What? That that's uh that's not even mine. That's uh. Okay, it was just so somehow got mine, in folks. there it's, with all the mess. It it's just, the, it just yeah, I was just holding it for somebody. Okay. And. Uh, Okay. Yeah, but moving right along. Okay, moving, moving right on, along. Yeah. moving back. Uh, getting, your getting your back wallet is supposed to hold all your important things. So right. all this stuff right here, this is garbage and receipts. Okay. I don't need all that stuff right there. So okay. I can get rid of that, right? Get it off And the then table. all I want to keep is maybe my driver's license, right. my health card, things like that. And then my wallet is nice and neat. Okay, right? perfect. So the same thing happens with your registry. Right. Now, a registry cleaner actually can be found online. Okay. Okay. You can go to a website like download.com okay. uh, and you can type in registry cleaner and they'll give you like a list of registry cleaners that are out there. But how do I know which one is legitimate and which one could possibly, you know, give me a virus or make my computer run slower because it will damage it more? All right, good question. Now, download.com is actually a website I use myself okay. and it's very reputable. So well, if it's I got, the, say, romaine yeah, it's got the romaine approval. stamp of approval. For sure. So okay. I, I would definitely uh, 
suggest that. Okay. Uh, but even within that website, they have ratings. Oh, okay. okay. And normally, uh, with the higher the rating, the higher on the chart it will be. So normally, right. the first one, two, or three programs are okay. normally the ones that you can use safely for your computer. Okay, that, right. that makes sense. Now, so cleaning my registry is one thing I can do. What other options do I have? Uh, another thing you can do, uh, related more to the hard drive, is actually okay. defragmenting it. That's another one of those words that I don't really like the sound of. All right, you know what? It's actually really simple. It stays along the lines of organizing things and putting them where they're supposed to be. Okay. Um, so, for example, you know, we go to the grocery store and, you know, you have the fruits in the fruit section, mm -hmm. you have the cookies in the cookie section, so on and so forth. Right. You're not going to mix up and put diapers in the fruit aisle and... I would it just hope makes not. things crazy, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of So gross. when you ask somebody, hey, where can I find cookies, they'll direct you straight to aisle 9. All right? Okay. So that's what happens when we defragment the hard drive. Right? Okay. We want to organize things and put them where they're supposed to be. Okay. So, for example, we know that the majority of our computer is made up of folders and files. Right. Okay, so after a while, actually when we first get our computer, yeah. you know, it looks a little something like this. Nice yes. and neat, everything's where it's supposed to be. Right. And when we start using things, you know, we have files here. Kind of get you know, we have, we have music and pictures. Right. You know, things kind of... Clutter up everything. Clutter up everything. It goes okay. all over the place, okay? Okay. So after a while, this is what your computer looks like inside. This so, is probably what my computer looks like yeah. right now. And probably your room too, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm a messy person. But anyway, <laughs> so this is what it gets to look like. Okay. So what we want to do is actually clean this up so we're able to find things a lot faster. Okay. Okay. Makes so sense. what I'll do is uh, I'll be the defragmenting software. Okay. And you count to let's say 15. Okay. Okay. And All I'll right. clean it up uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. Think All you're right? up for the challenge? I don't know. All right. Um, well, only time will tell. Let's get right. to it. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. I gotta say, I had doubts you could do it. <sighs> Thank I'm you. I'm pretty no, I'm impressed. Good. I'm good. <laughs> you need a glass that's of water my, no, That's my workout for today. I'm done. All right, that's your cardio. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, after we defragment, this is what your computer is going to look like on the inside, of course. Looks a lot better. To All right, me. a lot better. Uh, and again, just as a side note, defragmenting actually takes a lot longer than that. So you could probably go to the grocery store, get your hair uh, done, your nails, go shopping. I was hoping it was going to be a quick fix. No, no, no come right? back and it's probably still going. All right. Okay. So something you can click, walk away, and let it do its job. I do like the sound of that. All right. All right. So after we defragment, this is what it looks like. So okay. for example, if we're looking for, you know, the orange folder. We don't right. have to go over here because okay. we know it's just papers over here and pictures. Okay? okay. We just go directly over here, like that, and we and have. Pull it out easily. Just pull it out. All right. right. So Perfect. red, yellow, blue, whatever folder color you're looking for. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So that's okay. So defragmenting. All right. Now, is there another option or is that pretty much it? Well, there's another option you can do, and this is something that affects a lot of people, especially okay. because we're in the age now where everybody uses the internet. Definitely. Okay. So it's Facebook, it's you know, MySpace, Twitter. Twitter, whatever it is, or even just any other sites that we use. Right. Okay? What happens is we are opening ourselves to viruses. Oh, okay? viruses. We've and all dealt with that. Yeah, before. Exactly. And it's not something that we can we can avoid it, but sometimes it just it just happens. Okay. So if right. it does a virus does get on your computer at home, um, you know, it happens, we can fix it. Right. Okay. So what we can do is actually get an antivirus software. Oh, perfect. Okay? And again, that can be found on websites such as download.com, and you can download it and run it on your system. Okay. Now, just as a background, I'll take a step back for a second. Viruses essentially do um, to computers, okay, what uh, colds do to us and just mm -hmm. make us sick, okay? okay? And so the antivirus acts as the medicine. Ah, I got okay? it. Okay. And just helps us to get better and helps the computer to get better. Perfect. Okay, well, thanks so much for all those tips, Romaine. No I'm definitely going to have to try some of those for sure. When we come back, we are going to talk a little bit about DVDs and Blu rays. <laughs>